Hello everyone, this is Darth Lokwitter. Welcome to the channel. If you're a newer player or just looking for advice on how to build your account, this video is made for you. Today we're going to review an account, a fairly new account at 0.7 million galactic power, Baby CJ, or Professor CJ as we know him. Let's, uh, let's have a look at what's going on in this account. We can see Arena Rank 802. Fleet rank 146, and uh, we, we could probably improve on both of those. Not bad, but uh, we could do better. Galactic power is 400 in characters, 300 in ships. Let's take a look and see what he's got going on for ships over here. We see the three Geos, all at seven stars, coming along pretty nicely. Ahsoka Tano ship is good. We got Hound's Tooth at five stars. Some skills building up on him. The Executrix has some skill ups. Everything's at level 3. So that's on the way. Home 1, I see we have some levels on Akbar, but really no effort on the Home 1 ship. Just level 40. We've got the TIE Advanced, the Vulture Droid, and the Hyena Bomber coming along. Those are good. I am looking for a sixth ship at 5 stars. I see three at seven, two at one at six, one at five. I don't see a a sixth ship at five stars, so it, it that that seems like a problem to me. We'll get back to that here in a minute. Okay, let's look at the account. We've got Padme. She's got uh, eh, two forty eight speed. That's pretty good. She got health on the cross. That's decent. Defense on the triangle. Defense is good at relic level. It's okay at this level. 20 speed, that's good. 20 speed on that mod. And no speed at all on this mod, but it does have health and potency. So yeah, we, we don't want speed mods if they don't have speed subs. So let's look at the Geo Brute Alpha. Speed set on him as well. Potency, 14 speed. And potency's not bad. He's got the uh, expose ability and, and reasons to, to want potency. He's got some speed on these mods. One, five speed there, eight speed there. So he's got some speed. How about, uh, let's just arrange by speed. So that Brute Elf is the third fastest character. Padme is the fastest character with 248. Newt Gunray's got 219, 69 speed gain. That's not that great. And he still has some mods to, to build up. And then we're at 219 over here. And the Brood Alpha's kind of slow, so 219 is, is pretty decent for added speed for him. And then we've got 211 on Bosk, so the, yeah, and those mods still need some work, and it's not a speed set, but the speed falls off pretty quick. we got three or four characters that have, have some speed, and then it, it falls off from there. So the Geos are looking okay. We've got a couple of them that are about ready to tear up on the gear, so that's nice. For the Jedi, so we've got... Ezra, Anakin, Ahsoka, and Kanan. We just need one more Jedi. We, if you get a fifth star on Bastil or something, you could unlock Grandmaster Yoda. Uh, the Phoenix have been worked on. We just need one more star on Hera to finish out that Thrawn. So overall, we've got uh, a bunch of different teams getting built up. we got six bounty hunters on the way. We've got the two Fets, Boss, Greedo, IG, and Cad Bane. So that's good for 3v3. We've, since we've got six of them, we can make two 3v3 teams out of our bounty hunters, uh, if you want to. All right. So let's talk about what opportunities might exist for this account. So... For anybody who hasn't watched these videos before, in my reviews, I use Grand Arena and Fleet Placement as the main priorities for the review. For Grand Arena, I'm looking for a big defensive team and at least one big offensive team. In this account, 
I can see that the Geos are the good defensive team and that the Padme team should be the big offensive team right now. And then a base of other teams for placement and cleanup. And if we have some ideas for six character teams, we'll talk about it uh, with the idea of improving what's already in the account. So what's going well? Uh, yeah, the account's going well. I mean, uh, there's, there's not a whole bunch of characters all over the place that, that are built up for no reason. So there are quite a few characters, but uh, a lot of them are built for, you know, unlocking characters and uh, like Thrawn. And, and it looks like you have the Ewoks and you're working towards C-3PO. And I was thinking about that when I was looking at that account. It's actually a good idea because Ewoks are um, a pretty terrible team later on. I mean, you don't want to put too much effort in them and they don't hold up on defense very well. But this early in the game, you know, they can be a dangerous little team on defense when, when other people don't have enough stuff in their account yet to deal with them. So, yeah, I think if you're going to go for C-3PO, this, this might be a good idea to go for these Ewoks real early when they're actually useful. Uh, we see that Padme's on the way, and we do have some good mods with speed subs, so, um, so that's good. And then there's, um, you know, some good fleet stuff coming along. Opportunities, again, unless I'm missing something, I don't see six ships at five stars. And that's what we need to unlock that fleet materials challenge that gets us Zeta mats on the challenges. And I, I think that's just critical. you got to get those Zeta mats coming in from that challenge. And then overall, I, I think the speed drops off pretty quickly, so we do need to think about mods with more speed. So in the ships, I think that's where I have the most advice for this account. You know, get any ship to five stars as soon as possible. I don't know what other ship you might have, which ship's the closest, but get a ship to five stars and get that material challenge to unlock as soon as possible. If you can't think of, if, if, if your other ships are on long farms and hard to get, you can go back and farm that Kylo Ren node and just get the TIE Silencer to, to five stars. That's a possibility as well. But get something to five stars and get that closed out. Um, I would put at least some resources into Home 1 and make that a viable capital ship. You do need two fleets for Grand Arena, so you need a second capital ship. And then I would say beyond what you've got right now, be careful with ship unlocks. If you unlock a ship and you don't intend to invest in it, you can end up with a lot of galactic power in a ship that's at you know three stars. If, if the character's big... Even if the ship is at relatively low level and low stars, it still adds a ton of galactic power, which is then not an effective ship for fleet. So if you're going to build a ship at all, either commit to it and build it or don't unlock it. And, and that's not really going on in this account. I'm just saying don't. Uh, it's advice for everyone. Be careful unlocking a bunch of ships. And, uh, you know, for this account, you've got enough ships up and coming that I don't think you need to, to worry about getting more ships. And then the pilotless ships, the, the Vulture Droid and the Hyena Bomber. The pilotless ships are great. They, they are half the galactic power, and they're really good ships in their respective fleets. So um, I think both of those are really good ships to be building, and I would continue working on that. With regards to your fleet, I can see that you're starting out with Tarkin and using the three Geo ships as your starting lineup. I wouldn't do that. That Hound's Tooth is way too good to have sitting in as a reinforcement. So uh, what I would do is I would build your spy, and you need to get some of his skills up. You need to get the clandestine operation passive up to max level. You need to get the repulsor ray, his reinforcement ability, to level 3. <clears throat> and then we're going to use spy as a reinforcement. You also need to work on the basic skill for your, your Geo Soldier, and make sure that his basic is maxed out because he does a lot of assisting and getting that skill maxed out adds a lot of damage to it. Um, you're going to want to max out the middle skill, the discord missile on that vulture droid as soon as you can. That is a super powerful skill and when you bring him in off of reinforcement and use that missile, we'll talk about that here in a second. So for the starting three, I would use Houndstooth, Sunfac, and Soldier. It's not a very damaging lineup, but it's two tanks to protect that soldier. And really, the Executrix is a good ship at stalling for time. 
you've got abilities that that you know give your ships extra turns and then when he finally gets around to his ultimate it does a lot of damage and can pretty much be the killing blow against the opponent's fleet so you don't mind putting tanks in this fleet and stalling for time a little bit on your first reinforcement you bring in that spy on the level three spy reinforcement it puts a forced taunt on two different characters so if you have to target a tank like hound's tooth that's fine it'll still put that forced taunt on some other character behind the tank and then you can target that use the spies mass assist and just kill off a ship and it gets it gets you the numbers advantage and then you've got the soldier and the spy sitting behind the sunfac and the hound's tooth and uh, you know tanking for days then when you bring in the vulture droid use that discord missile uh, especially if the opponent has a hound's tooth you may even want to do the reinforcement with the vulture droid first putting the buff immunity when you get that discord missile to level eight it does buff immunity which kills the hound's tooth once the hound's tooth has that on it doesn't get the extra protection up every time you attack it and you can take it down just like a normal ship so that's what you want the vulture droid in there for and then ahsoka is obviously your your other best reinforcement but i would play around with the turn order and with reinforcing with that spy and reinforcing with the vulture droid I think that's going to get you a better climb in your fleet arena, and I think it's also going to get you a better hold in your arena. So with that hound's tooth out there, it's going to be much harder for anybody else to beat you and, and you know take your rank back down um, in between days. So that's how I would work on the fleet. For the characters, we need Fifth Galactic Republic for Padme, but I see the Ewoks, so I assume that means C-3PO will be the fifth. That's fine. I would start working on Padme as your arena team. You probably already are. I see the Zetas on her, and I see her coming along, and Anakin coming along. So I assume that you're going to make that into your arena team. And I would keep working on Anakin all the way up to Relic level. So you're close to Division 9. I think 800,000 is where you head up to Division 9. So by the time you get to the top of Division 10, you're going to have to be ready to fight some Jedi Knight Anakin teams and some other teams that are going to have relic characters so i think you, you need to work on that anakin and get him all the way up to relic level by the time you're at the top of division 10 that's what i would do um, and for six man teams you do have the bounty hunters that you can make into 3v3s you've got this little newt dooku and, and magna guard that you can make in a 3v3 and uh, so i think you have enough characters that i don't really have too much advice for the 3v3 and then, is this the part where we talk about farming mods again? <laughs> and I suppose it is. Um, it's, it's advice that I'm giving to people, but it's also advice that I'm taking myself on the local order account. So every week you're going to see that I'm farming a bunch of mods. Uh, at least half of them are going to be speed mods. And that I'm just working on that inventory. And I, I, I'm probably going to slice one or two mods a week just to try to develop the speed mods that I have even more for the ones that are you know had good speed rolls but um, yeah dig dig for those mods do one or two energy refreshes and mods every day and get your strategy down and just keep working on it because th this account's relatively new there's plenty of time but the earlier that you start working on those speed mods and getting more characters in your roster going faster uh, I think the happier you're going to be in the long run so it applies to this account, applies to every account. So anybody watching this, if you're 4 million galactic power, you could still probably use more speed mods. Um, so it's generic advice for everybody. But uh, uh, but that's it. That's the account review for today. Uh, I hope this helps some people look in and see some ideas for their own account. If these videos are helping you, please like this video. It helps my channel out a lot when you do. Subscribe to, to, to this if you want to see more videos in the future. And uh, join the Discord. You know, we've got a good community of players growing over there. So join us over there. Some lively conversations. And thank you all for your time. See you in the next video.